actually have a live guest very early in the studio. Uh, good morning, Michael Whitefoot. Good morning. Local photographer extraordinaire. Well, local. Yes. Um, no, well, you are a photographer, Michael, and you're about to put uh, on a fantastic exhibition at Worcester Cathedral, which is what we're here to talk about today. Yep. Um, first of all, uh, tell me a little bit about your photography. Well, the photography is all local, 90% of it. Some of the items that are going to be in the exhibition are holiday photographs, just to make it slightly different so that it's not all Herefordshire and Worcestershire, so that people get to see a few other things that I do. So the exhibition starts on the 30th. It will have 36 large canvases on the walls of the chapter house, and that's as many as I can get on there. Mm. But having done an exhibition in July and only had about 40 canvases and selling 29 of them, it was a bit tricky to keep canvases on the wall and not have any gaps. So this year, I've actually got 56 canvases with 20 spare to Ooh. replace any that are sold. Aha, uh -huh, right. So, so you, I have no gaps. Yes, well, okay. So these are, the, the, the impressive thing about this exhibition is the size of the prints. They're all 1.2 metres, so they're all rather large. So that's, that's like higher than a person, or as tall as a person, nearly, or almost. I suppose, a, yeah. A short person. Yeah, up to, sort of, but they're, they're off the ground. Yes, so they're, they're so all hanging you, around the edge. At eye level, so they are yes. quite... Imp because obviously the scenes are stunning, um, and these aren't just things that you've gone around snapping on your iPhone, are they? No. <laughs> no, no. A couple are. It's amazing what you can do with an iPhone. Absolutely. But actually, um, these, these are incredible views. Um, it must be quite an impression. I know that the, the last exhibition in the summer went down exceptionally well, but it's a really incredible impression that people are going to get when they walk into the chapter house. Yes, it's, it's very colourful in comparison with just a plain wall. So an awful lot of people will just poke their head around the door and all of a sudden they'll spend 20 minutes in there, especially when they recognise some of the places, especially with the drone photographs, where they'll suddenly say, crikey, I can see my house, or things like that anyway. So they'll, they'll enjoy looking at the photographs just to be able to see where they know or where they visited. Okay, so you've done um, a huge, huge book as well with some of these pictures. The latest one, because I know you've done one of Herefordshire and Worcestershire and the Cotswolds. Um, yep. And now the latest one is Postcards from Wales. Postcards from Wales took me over a year to collate all the pictures. Bearing in mind, this is the one that uh, was slightly awkward in so much as you had to be on the coast when the tide was in. So that's, so that's a few visits to some places right. to get that photograph. But to give you an idea, between the Cotswolds and Wales over the last 18 months, that's 33,000 miles in the car, with journeys starting from here at 2 o'clock in the morning to get to Pembroke by the time the sun comes up at 5 o'clock. Yeah. Okay, so There's quite a, a lot of work has gone in. Is it worth it, Michael? Yes. Right. To see, to see your book yeah. there... Especially as there isn't a book like this out there at the moment, the only thing that's anywhere close is a quarter of the size. So I like the fact that it's got great big photographs. Yeah. And you can see lots of places, like the castle you're looking at. That's, yeah. Ordinarily, Chepstow you'd castle. see that from the floor. We'd see it from the road. You yes. see, You can see the, the ruins from the road and then you can go up to it, I suppose. Yeah. So where, how, where did you take that? Is, have you got a drone? That's a drone. Yeah. Lot of planning. A lot of planning, a yeah. lot of tides, a lot of sunrises. When you get somewhere, you'll find something's covered in scaffolding, so you have to come back three oh. or four months later, or, long, or longer. Mm. Or, you'll, I guess I say, you'll get to a harbour in Pembrokeshire, and the tide's out, and it doesn't look anything like you want it to. Or it's raining, because it rains a lot in Wales. <laughs> I can say that, I'm Welsh. <laughs> Right, good to know. So, the, are the, all the other books still in print? Are you, are we can still they're get all still in them? print, and okay. they're all available through the cathedral shop, who actually will be selling the canvases. So, if you walked in there yeah. and you thought, "Oh, I like that," mm -hmm. you could actually go to the shop and buy it, and the cathedral gets a percentage of the sale. Oh, that's nice. So, it's it's good for them. So, everything goes through the shop. Plus, they've got an awful lot of my products in there. 
So they'll sell fridge magnets or jigsaw puzzles or calendars. Calendars. I didn't have one of your calendars this year, 2023. Ah. So we've been, we've been at odds in the household because we've not known what anyone's doing. Perfect. It's solved now. It's solved. We've that's got one, one for 2024. Yes. And that's a Hereford one, is it? That's a Hereford one. Which is appropriate because that's where I live. Ross and Y is in there. Oh, fantastic. Oh, good. wonderful. Um, so do you have a particular favourite or is it is that an impossible question to answer? Impossible answer. It's, right. It's, no. There, there are too many. And yeah. I had to whittle it down to 56. <gasps> you can hardly do that. No. But... It's going to be interesting this year. I'm going to put a visitor book in place. Right. Just to see if I can get some feedback, because what I'm getting from the vergers and the shop is an awful lot of people are going in there and spending ages, and they are loving it, and they're coming out saying how great it is, but I've got no proof. So oh, I'm okay. going to print up a little book and leave yeah. it in there and just get people to tell me which ones they like, which ones they might like to see in the future, and you know, it's, so it could change. Yes, I really like the idea of that. So that's, that's going to be interesting. It may be good, it may be bad, but we'll see. Um, well, I'm, I mean, just that these, these little tiny images that are here as a teaser um, of, the, of the 56 images you've chosen, it, it's, a, it's an absolute feast for the eyes, isn't it? It's colourful. Yeah. And hopefully it'll be interesting to someone who walks around them. There, there yeah. are pictures there from Italy, USA... Scotland, Wales, and of course Hereford and Worcester. Remarkable. Well, I'm, it's fantastic that you, you, you do this. It's a labour of love, isn't it? Yes. Mm. Yes. You're not going to earn a fortune at this, but it's great to see something like this in place or thinking that a calendar is hanging up in someone's house. Yeah. But here's the weird one. I think I've sold around about 23,000 calendars now over the last 10 Gosh. years. <laughs> So I've been in an awful lot of households. Yeah. And that's that's 23,000 calendars, but I've actually sold about 15,000 fridge magnets. Gosh. It's just weird how people will go for those type of things. Little things, So I'm, yeah. I'm on people's fridges all over the place. That is, that is a nice feeling. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, they're not photos of you. Let's just clap, no. clear that up. No, no, no. <laughs> the very, very small one on the back of the book. But yeah, there are photos uh, by you, and there's, yes. a, there's a little picture of you holding holding it on the back. Good. Well, uh, Michael, that is absolutely fantastic. And you, you live in Worcestershire. I live in Chelsea Beecham, which is oh, currently yes. flooded. Right. So tell me about your flooding situation. How, you know, what oh, was the journey got... in here like this morning? Oh, journey in was okay because I'm coming east. Okay, but I yeah. can't go west um, because it's all flooded, all the fields are flooded. Mm. And I was taking a drone picture yesterday, which they put on the old Worcester news, um, of, of the whole area. And you can see where the road is because you can see the hedgerows. But other than that, it's other underwater. Than that, it's underwater. So the only way out is up over the hill towards Worcester. So we've got one way in, one way out at the minute. Okay. D and, and is that normal when, when the river gets high? You've, yes. you've seen that before? Yeah, the team, once a year at least. Oh, right. And if it's not the rain, it's the snow. Mm -hmm. And because we're in a valley, you can't get it at all. Right. Because everything is uphill. And ha so no, that, that you know of around there, homes flooded. It's just it's the roads. It's just the roads. Yeah. It's just the roads. And, everything and is high enough off the mm -hmm. river. But, um, yeah, it's not going to get much higher. So quite literally, all the fields that you normally see are just brown lakes at the minute. Great. So that must make a dramatic photo with your drone as well. It's, it's quite nice, but it's all brown. Yeah. Which is a bit boring. It's, it's mind-boggling, though, isn't it, when you see things that are normally visible that you can walk along and drive along yes. that just disappear. Which is why an awful lot of pictures in the books yeah. will show, for example, in Wales, there's over 400 castles. Well, if you took all of those from standing still in front of it, you'd have an awful lot of brick walls. Yes. But by sending up a drone and seeing how the castle interacts with the town or the river, yes. it makes it more interesting. Really does work, doesn't it? It does. It, yeah. it adds a whole new perspective to the mm. actual photograph. What an incredible snapshot of life. Um, in, in this case, in Wales, which is the current book that yes. we're looking at. Well, Michael, thank you very much for coming in to tell us about it and good luck with the exhibition remind me when we can see it i'll be putting it up on the 29th it opens on the 30th this and is it november be, uh october oh this sorry so this next, month. next next week next week next week so it goes up next week oh, yes. for the whole of november yeah 
and it's also there for the Victorian Fair. Oh. Which is quite nice. Yeah, so I'm hoping good. an awful lot more people are going to go in. Yeah, because that brings a lot of people to Worcester. Uh, from Wales. Yeah, uh, of course. So there will be a lot of Welsh pictures there. The Welsh book will be there. Yeah. So I'm just kind of hoping that mm. we, we get them all in, the bus fulls. Excellent. Well, me too. Me too. Michael, thank you and good luck with the exhibition. And I hope to come and have a look myself because it's quite a um, feat. For, well, it, like we've said, it's incredible. These massive, great, giant, beautiful images in that setting in the, in the chapter house in the cathedral. It's quite... It's a perfect spot for them. It is. How wonderful. Good for you. Michael, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.